Ryan, Carolyn, you're in the part of Atlanta called Underground Atlanta. Have the crowds started to swell there? No, there's no crowds here, Sean. Uh, I wanted to tell you about a different story that happened here at Underground Atlanta on Friday night. The property manager here got a call that stores had been vandalized. He came down here to survey the damage and it almost cost him his life. And we want to warn you the pictures you're, we're about to show you are graphic. Craig Waters is lucky to be alive. His wife tells me he was beaten Friday night and left for dead after coming down to survey the damage caused by unruly protesters. Wow. Yeah, that's a very unfortunate situation that, that happened. Joseph Stone has worked at Legends Barbershop for 12 years. I know him by passing through here, stick his head in and speak to the barbers from time to time. He was shocked to hear the news. You have an innocent man that was just coming down, checking on the property that he manages, and happened to get beat up, right? So all that does is create hatred. Craig's wife tells me a group of six or seven African Americans, one of whom was a female, attacked him for no reason. To a person that ain't got nothing to do with it, where is your brain at? Why would you just all of a sudden do something to this person? And the person ain't got nothing. Don't know what's going on. This man doesn't want to be identified, but told us he witnessed the brutal beating after he himself was shot just moments earlier. They went in here and came up. He watched underground Atlanta's security guard try to help Craig as he was being assaulted, but she was no match for the group attacking him. They can't protect you, him, or me in a situation that might come up because they ain't got nothing to protect you with. How can they help you? And we spoke to Craig Waters' wife today, and we are hoping to be able to interview her husband about this horrific ordeal just as soon as he's feeling up to it. Reporting live from Underground Atlanta, Carolyn Ryan, CBS 46 News.